You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not call on Yoda's Jedi. The Empire is coming to town. We have a Death Star. We've tested it twice. Tracking down rebels and ending their lives. The Empire is coming to town. I have a very bad feeling about this. It's kind of gross. <laughs> you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not fall on your dad. The Empire is coming to die. Guys, welcome to the um, second video that I'm doing for the NerdNap unboxing. Like I said last time, the theme would most probably be themed uh, according to the new Star Wars release. That's why my video is a bit late, because I decided I wanted to see the movie before um, I did the unboxing. And oh my MG, the movie is awesome. That's all I can say. So if you're a Star Wars fan and you were skeptic about the new movie, it's worth watching. Go and check it out. But in the meantime, Nerd nap time. So let's see what we've got in this box this time around. Okay. Well, first off, the first thing I noticed that they'll put in is this little paper saying this box insert contains a description of the items in the box. Spoiler alert. Keep the surprise and read after opening the box. And then the little star, uh, stormtrooper says, I don't know Nerd Nap Ninja, this is might irritate say, uh, Darth. Okay. Good uh, tired humor and stuff, but it's nice. <coughs> so I'll, che I'll check the paper after I checked everything inside the, the box. Alright, now the first thing we'll see here is nano blocks. These are actually pretty fun to play around with because it's uh, exactly like Lego but the difference is this is miniaturized. So everything is a lot smaller, there's more detail to your building blocks and stuff and I can also see this is uh, going with the Christmas theme of the box for um, it's a little Christmas tree with a present in a little teddy bear. That's pretty awesome. Okay, next item. Ah. This is pretty awesome. Angry Birds Star Wars for the PC. This is a um, pretty nice game. It is pretty old. It caused it to release around 2013. But it's still nice to actually get, in, um, for the uh, first time in the box now, an actual game. And the fact that it's actually the Star Wars one makes it just um, very nice that it's part of the um, Star Wars theme as well. Right, next item. Ah, the t-shirt. Oh, <laughs> it's classic, freaky hell. It's Darth Vader, dressed up as Santa Claus, and if you actually know a bit of South African Afrikaans and stuff, it says here, Cas Father, which actually means <laughs> Father Christmas, but it's Cas Vader, basically. Classic stuff. Uh, the next thing in the box, oh, there's two pins here. The one is a uh, Mad Max badge, which is a pretty fun game. Definitely have to try it out if you guys want to play something new. And Dying Light. I'm guessing this has to do with the new DLC that's going to be released soon. We, um, which is nice. I try to keep up to date with what's happening in the gaming world and stuff. That's cool. Next thing. Roy's Story Cubes. I've heard about these before. It's actually very nice that they actually added this as part of the uh, box. Um, <clears throat> rules are short and simple. Roll all three cubes to create Tales of Primeval Predators, a non-competitive game for one or more players. Works even better when mixed with other sets. And the set here is Prehistoria, which is actually cool. So it seems like there's like a bunch of pictures on concerning dinosaurs and fossils and mammoths which is actually very very cute actually in the end this is actually very, very nice this is why I love Nerd Nap. they put stuff in that 
it's very cool but people wouldn't usually actually either know about or they just um, wouldn't buy it immediately for themselves because they don't really know much about the product itself so this is a real nice thing especially with the holidays and stuff being with your family and stuff this is a nice game to play when you just want some time to rest all right next item is a dota 2 keyring it's nice as the keyring and everything and i'm assuming this actually has something to do with the 3d printing that they were talking about on facebook the whole month so this is really cool i love it you, uh, it's so unique next thing Oh, this is so cool. For any of those hero click fans, this month's box is just gonna make you happy because um, they added a hero click in the box this month. And the uh, version I got is President Lex Luthor. For those, um, <coughs> you, uh, like I said, hero click fans will be majorly excited about this. I even have, I'm not a major hero click fan, but I even have my own Iron Man hero click set. Which is actually very nice. Let's see if I can get Lex Luthor out properly so you can actually see how he looks. There we go. At his podium and stuff, giving his speech. Classic stuff that I love that. Okay, and looks like the last item is a comic book. Okay. And it's a marvel comic this time um the infinity gauntlet true believers which is actually very very cool especially um if you're majorly into marvel and stuff this ties in very nicely with most of the new uh, marvel movies releasing basically like the second four movie the first avengers movie that came out with the gems of light uh, i'm not sure if it's the correct name but um it has to do specifically with the color gems on the gauntlet which is very very cool I, um, the other thing I'm gonna check on specifically now ah it actually has a price on it it's one dollar for the uh, comic so those people that were freaking out about the last time about well but it's a free comic the Harley Quinn comic now you can at least not complain that it was a free comic I don't understand why people were complaining so much about it being free if um if you had to go to the store how much gas would you have wasted just to go and pick up that free comic it wouldn't have been free in the end deal with it anyway that's about it so i'm just gonna cover now everything that is on the sh sheet <coughs> okay here's the nabber box stuff basically i see i covered almost everything here Oh yeah, uh, the t-shirt was designed by Kofer Lindicke, he's the first um, person to have entered into the t-shirt competition, congratulations Kofer, um, I love the design and stuff, keep up, I would love to see another t-shirt in the future from you as well. Um, yeah, just as I thought, the pin is actually tied in with the, um, the, the dying light as is tied into the uh, new DLC called Dying Light the following so um, if you guys didn't know about the new DLC go and check it out um, let's we'll see what's else here okay they, here they talk about the um, uh, nano blocks it seems like there were three different types you could get you could have gotten a Christmas tree uh, Father Christmas or a little snowman which is very cool and stuff because um, now you're actually going to get into the nano blocks just to uh, get that full set if you really want to go that far and then here's the story cubes as well i can see there's three different sets here there's pre Astoria, which is the one i got um there's clues i'm assuming it's like a mystery type theme on those cubes and then enchanted which i assume is like the fairy tales and all that stuff and it's very this is actually very very nice all right and <coughs> the i'm starting a new segment where i'm gonna uh, give my uh suggestions on to nerd nab themselves if they see this video please try and um follow uh the suggestion i would like to make 
the dying the uh, dying light badge and the mad max badge is awesome but what i've noticed with um other subscription stuff like um one up boxes and with the loot crate and stuff is that they actually create their own badges with their own image on it and stuff for that themed box so it would be nice if you guys could actually make a unique badge for each box so that we can actually say this badge you can't get anywhere else except from NerdNap and it's a really cool badge and there's like these badge collectors and stuff they'll actually buy a NerdNap box just to get that badge actually so that's my two cents worth of actually my suggestion for the next box Alright, now to carry on to the uh, Nabo Plus, uh, let's see what the lucky guys who got to, uh, the Nabo Plus got. First up, they actually got a uh, model of Rico Rodriguez from Just Cause. The game is so damn awesome. I actually wish they could have gotten maybe a Just Cause thing for the Nabo box, but the Nabo Plus guys are actually. Um, happy enough to get that so I'm glad for them um, next item on the list a 4 gig geotech memory stick geotech have a wide range of audible equipment and all consoles even gaming chairs and high quality HDMI cables and controller charge that's actually nice that they added a uh, memory stick to the box even though it's a 4 gig it's a bit smaller to my opinion but I don't really know much about geotech as well I'll be honest about it I don't want to go and be like yeah but this and that and I don't even know my product I won't give my opinion that much but 4 gig is a bit small these days right the next item they have is the Star Wars plane miniatures this is actually very cool it's like miniature versions of the X-Wing and TIE fighters man I actually wish I could actually um, Got myself uh, a Nabo Plus just for that. Come on, guys, give me just give me a chance for uh, in the future soon to win a Nabo Plus. I really would love to do a decent video on the Nabo Plus as well. Next item here um, that they added into the Nabo Plus was Pro Evolution Soccer 16 um, on any of the consoles that you probably ticked off, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, um, that's a nice thing a free game basically which is awesome anytime you can get a game for free then why would you want to complain um, next item on the list is um, these super quality t-shirts show off your passion toward your favorite console Rise of the Tomb Raider, Halo 5 Guardians and Forza Motorsport 6 are just some of the exclusive titles to Xbox One the t-shirt looks actually really really cool because it's actually um, focused mainly on the Xbox scene and stuff which is really cool right um, that's for the Nabo Plus now to see what is in the mother load I'm sorry I didn't mention anything about the mother load last time so I'm making sure this time I can cover everything in the box next uh, what the lucky mother load winner would have won is a blue x-wing starter set has all the planes and tools of two players to play right away so oh so the uh, it's actually like a miniature um, star wars x-wing game that's actually really cool that i'm kind of jealous about that right now uh, the next item um assassin's creed syndicate pocket watch oh looks so freaking cool <laughs> yeah I'm gonna I'll just uh, edit this out of where I'm crying and stuff uh, the next oh they actually got like a full set of um, the story cu uh, cubes which is really cool especially <coughs> it's, it's it's that's really really nice um, because uh, yeah next item is an infinity gauntlet money bank that is really cool especially we're tied into the comic that they're giving away this month now the lucky mother lord winner actually gets an infinity gauntlet as a money bank 
Come on, people, you're just breaking my heart here. Uh, next item here is a limited edition Xbox One jacket, uh, which was provided by Xbox South Africa. It's a pretty nice jacket. Um, it's nice to ha uh, have extra uh, in the mud alert, so that makes it worthwhile. And then, oh, for those nano block fanatics and stuff, they actually gave you like a big set. It looks like a pirate ship set of nano blocks in the mud alert. So whoever won the mud alert, I, um, I'm uh, very happy for your part that you actually got it because it actually looks like a decent mud alert. Yeah, and that's about covers my video. But opinions about the um, box this month. I really love what was in the nano box this month because it's not. Uh, I was actually worried it wasn't gonna be as good as the first box, but it exceeded my expectations with the variety of stuff they could actually put in the box, and I'm really happy about that. Secondly, the um, Naber uh, Plus, I except for the Rico Rodriguez and the miniature um, Star Wars plates, I'm not actually too impressed i'm gonna be actually honest to say that um i am glad i didn't win the neighbor plus this month because the previous month's neighbor plus was a lot better no hands down and concerning the mother load I, um like i said i didn't say in my video but the mother load in the last box was decent but this month's mother load was actually a pretty cool one with the fact that you could win an Assassin's Creed pocket um, watch and the nano blocks and the Infinity Gauntlet money bank and the uh, um, Star Wars X Wing. It was actually a pretty decent model loot. So I'll definitely uh, give a thumb give a thumbs up to that and um, uh, say the model loot was a decent one this month. So the only one I'm kind of disappointed with was the Naber Plus. It's not as good as the previous month. So uh, guys at Nunab, just uh, check out for that specifically. So um, let's just round it up. The next um, theme for the box for um, February, March is going to be love in Deadpool. And who doesn't love Deadpool? If you don't love Deadpool, then what's wrong with you? Unless you're a DC fan, you love Deathstroke, then that's your problem. We love our crazy dude <laughs> that freaking breaks the fourth wall all the time and doesn't give a hoot. He freaking mocks with everybody. He doesn't care who he goes up against. He'll just mess everyone up. And the movie is coming out in February. That's going to be awesome. I also, I'm also going to be probably late with the video, depending on the release date here and I say for the Deadpool movie. But I'm definitely going to also first watch the movie before I give my opinion on it. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah I'm going to be uh, uh, ending the video now. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe so that you can see what um, new exciting stuff is in the next Nerd Nap box. Thanks for ch checking out and see you guys again soon. Ciao.